water flow despite the fact that everything's frozen. And so that's really important if we're counting on the sump pump that we have something that works like that. And tomorrow morning, you can see that. We'll have it in our seminar tomorrow morning, show you that little piece of the puzzle. So all this base work, we're not doing today, but that has to be done. And another thing that Dave was show, showed you yesterday is that when you finish the walls, you've got to put in floors up here and floors down here that help hold those walls in place because the soil wants to push it all in. We're not going to do that today, either. but that's a critical part of making the whole system work. Okay? Can you move me on, Bruno? So this is our first competition. We're going to frame the wall. Okay? And one more slide, Bruno. We'll go to the first slide here. Are we getting close? On? Oh, we do have the time. I see we now have a clock for the competition. Okay. So we're going to be able to time these things down. That's good. We're all set. What we're going to do is you're going to build the frame wall. You're going to do it on the floor, pound in the nails from the outside as you're going through. So you're actually creating this wall. Last night, Chuck and I sat up and scratched our heads because there's a whole pile of wood at each of these stations. And we realized it was kind of like an IKEA set without instructions. <laughs> so it was a little bit complicated. So we've pre-nailed a little bit of your stuff there. And it's only just tacked together. You've got to add more nails. But we did it so you could figure out which piece of wood was which. And we, I invite you, as you get into this competition, to save yourself time. If you're looking to try to figure out which piece of wood's going to do it, come up to the stage, bring your wood with you, put it up here and say, yeah, that's that piece, because they're all the same. Okay, So use this as your model to come up and see what we're going to do in terms of building that thing. We're going to build it on the floor. We're going to install braces around the windows here. And then you're going to stand it up. We have a side wall that we'll tack in. And the side wall is this piece here. We're just going to tack it in because we're going to take it apart for the next demonstration. So we don't want to really nail us too hard. This is a piece of wall that's finished. It's as if this wall was going on for another 40 feet that way. Okay? And this piece that he has here on top is that when we put these things together, the reason you're doing this, there's a whole bunch of stuff to learn about how the sheathing goes on the other side. That's the next competition. But even in the framing, we've got to have something to attach the drywall to on both sides and access back here to insulate it if we didn't do it at the beginning. And then this piece that runs along here comes in and ties it together. Okay? And that's the end of your first competition. The thing's standing up, you're done, and it's 19 and a half minutes from the starting point. Okay? We'll see how well we do on timing here as we get going. So a couple little tricks as we're going through. You all have hammers and things. We probably don't even need tape measures, although you could use them. Everything's pre-cut for you, so no sawing. Uh, lots of nails. We use the three inch nails to put all of this structure together. Use the one and a half inch nails for these little brackets. But basically what you need to do is line this whole thing up and start to build it. And you see back here, there's a little piece of blocking here. And then actually for you is nice because you don't have to measure and read a plan. It shows you how far apart these things need to be. Okay. Now the blocking is important. It's exactly, that is one thing we will measure. The blocking is going to be exactly 24 inches up from the bottom, Why? in the center of the blocking. Why? Because when we put our sheathing on the other side, because it's a pressure treated wood foundation, we can't have a piece of plywood up here well, like this. We can't have two pieces of plywood that are floating with only studs over here because this would move. So there's blocking behind this joint between the two pieces of plywood. And when you're building a real house, you plan out where your plywood comes and you make sure there's continuous blocking right there because it has to be supported. And just keep thinking. Ground, the earth wants to push in on this thing. We've got to resist that. So that's why we do more than just the standard wall. We have all this pressure from the side. Now, it's not terrible pressure because we've got granular backfill and all these things to stop the frost. But it is a lot of pressure. And that's also why we put these little brackets around the window frame all the way around because just nails, and Dave had some slides of this yesterday if you were at his session on pressure wood foundations, when that's just nailed in, it ends up being pushed forward. And it actually unhooks from the wall and comes in because the soil is so strong. And in that case, they had to dig all the soil out, push the wall back, put the brackets in, put the soil back, which is a real pain after the fact. So we do use brackets all the way around here, and there's little one and a half inch nails that allow you to nail that in properly. And you need at least three nails per bracket as we're going. Now, as we get going throughout the day, Chuck is here to help me out a lot because Chuck is really our building technologist on this. And he, one of the things that Chuck is going to really pound on us is that we uh, make sure that we take care of nailing sequence. 
So in this particular job, let me lean that forward. Our most important one is, is this guy on the top, right? Because yeah. what we have is a double header here. This is two pieces that are back up in there. And then, and yeah, this is a, a double header there. Two by two by six. Two by two by six, and it's nailed all together. And then the one on the top has to be nailed in at six inches with two nails in, all the way along. So you, again, you can come up here and see the nailing pattern, but in the judging of the contest, we're going to judge on nailing pattern. So just to warn you, it gets really important with the plywood later on. Sorry. So we have these ones that have to be there. The end nailing is important as well, three nails. This header that's over here has to be in nailed from the ends, three nails. It has to be done. That's not optional. And so those things we'll be watching and the judging. Did the judges hear that? that uh, the judges aren't even listening. The ju <laughs> Did the judges hear that? No, you're talking over there. The things that they're going to be judged on is also nailing patterns, like three nails in the ends of this header, and then six inch spacing double nails coming across the top to really lock that header in there. Okay? See, if the judges don't listen, you can do anything you want. Okay, but, and then the brackets have got to be in here as we bring it up, and so that's all going to be framed. And you do have a square with you to try to make sure it's somewhat square. Don't you worry about that too much, because this whole thing is going to be a little flexible until we get the plywood on. That's the next competition. They have to worry about that more. Uh, Chuck, anything I'm missing here? Uh, then, we have the header nailing is important. Heading nailer, okay. We talked about, uh, we should mention, you talked about the blocking for the sheet. The blocking at exactly where the plywood comes from. So for us, it's 24 inches up from the floor. Yeah. Two nails in each end of the blocking. And the blocking gets two nails coming in from the ends. Now, and you're going to have to studs. cheat a little bit with this piece. We just. Yeah. Uh, no, they can drop that one and this comes yeah. in afterwards. Okay, so the blocking there, they can get it. Yeah. All the blocking here, you can't quite get it because we've actually nailed this one and these two together already. When we usually build it one at a time, you can nail properly from the edges. So if you've got a toenail a little bit, we'll cheat today. But it, the blocking needs two nails. Again, it's because of the soil is pushing. So we really need to protect it there. Okay? And uh, that's about it, that's huh? That's about it. Now, if you've got your conference manual, in the conference manual there's drawings to go along with the challenge that show the framing layout, nailing requirements, and those sorts of things. Can you, you can hear what he's saying? Well. Everybody? Yeah, yeah, okay. So in the conference manual there's nailing layout. If it's too complicated, you just send one of your team members up here. Chuck is here, and he's available, and he'll explain and point it out, okay? So if you lose that, don't spend 20 minutes reading the paper. <laughs> Ask questions and we'll move on. Pardon? Yeah. Now, there's gloves at every station. You got hard hats, that's so you look good on television, okay? Even though nothing's going to fall on your head here. Uh, and you've got some glasses when you're hammering, the glasses are required. Everybody's watching, including the safety officers. So we, we will do those precautions as we're setting that up. There's a kit at each station. We have all kinds of blue shirt people around here. As you're going through the competition, you have a confusion, you're missing a tool, something doesn't work. You let us know right away because you only got 20 minutes, so we're there to make sure you keep moving on and do it. I'll float around, see how things are going. Who are our teams? How, who's our teams here? Come on, who, who signed up for this thing? Who's got, you got the control list down there? Yes, yes. Don't be shy, come up. Come on. Okay, you wanna, you wanna get our teams up and in place? Marvin and David. You wanna go down the far end there, Marvin and David? Next. Ian and Ashley, on to the second one, okay. And the third team over here. Okay, you should take your jacket off, it's gonna get warm as we start working here. <laughs> And I would actually suggest you maybe tuck in those, those name tags because uh, flopping around while we're building is not really a good idea. That way we don't know who you are either, so it hides your identity. Okay, we got one team there. We're missing a team here. Uh, pardon? Two to a team.
Yeah, come on. We got to run over here. Can you come right over here? Are you partnered with somebody? No? Come on. She needs a partner. There we go. And we got another station to fill here. Who it is? Two more people. Two more. We we're missing a team. There's one. There's two. Okay, we got a team. All right. So we'll get our teams all set up so that getting dressed is not part of the timing. <laughs> Safety first, gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Do we have gloves up here? All right. Is that is that generally for everyone? Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got enough hard hats, gloves, safety glasses to just keep going. Okay. Okay. The very first prize you just won is you get to keep your hard hat, your safety glasses, and your gloves. Okay, that's the first. Whether you win or lose, you get to keep your hard hat, safety, glasses, and gloves. So you got that much to go with you. Take a look in your toolbox, see what you got in there, so you're just familiar with what's available to you. Oh, uh, will they go over your glasses? in his jeans, that's cool. He came all dressed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're starting to look like we're on a real construction site here. And she's staring at the model to figure out where you start. Okay, just to uh, get you in line here, make sure you find your bottom piece that goes all the way across. It's the biggest piece of wood you got in that pile. and. Uh, not the biggest, not the largest, two by six, the biggest piece, two by six you got down there. Let's line that up. And if you just want to check it, it's going to be, going to be 48 inches. So you got a four foot piece of two by six there. It go, that's your bottom piece. 48 inch. Set of 40, yeah, make sure you're starting with the right bottom. Well, we pre-nailed a couple of them just so that we, we sorted some of the wood out. You got one, 40, is that a 48-incher? Use the tape. you 48. Okay, let's just make sure everybody's got their 48-inch ready to go on the bottom. Yeah. That is, that's it, right? 48 inches? Yeah, because you notice the top is all broken up with fancy stuff. So it's the bottom page is the 48 inches across. If we got that one, we're off and starting properly. All right. You got yours over there. We're set here. Yeah. You got your 48 inch piece out there. You got, is that your 48 inch? Okay. You guys got your 48 inch out here? 
Okay, so it's ready to go? All right. So, you got nails, you got pouches, you're going to need your three inch nails for most of this. So, load up your pouch with some three inch nails. That'll save you from running around. You got your hammers. Batman or Robin? Okay. <laughs> Which one's Robin is the question. <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay. So as soon as the judges have got all the names, that's good. You're starting to figure it out. All right. Organize your layout as much as you can. You get ahead of the game here, but... Uh, This one is like this. This is a little two by, a small one that just fills in because the header is over here going further. You got your double header on the top. Now there's a little tiny one. There's a little two by two there or something. There you go. That's the guy that just fills in here at the end. Yeah, he fills in on top there. Okay, have the judges done their round? You're ready? Everybody's ready? Okay, you see there's a clock on the wall that says 20 minutes. So you go as far as you can. We stop at 20 minutes, whatever's done, and that's what's done. Now, ideally, you've got this thing standing up and got that little wall just barely tacked in. Don't nail it too hard for the wall because we've got to unnail it later. Okay, you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, the competition.
good. And then if you use that as a spacer, see we're not quite on, but that's all right. That way it will come up straight. So there's something along here that was too loose. Is that tight in there? Okay. You missed. Got to send it out that way a little bit. Good. And then when we move this up further, it'll block properly up here. Okay? Yeah, and that way well, you can space them properly up on the top. Uh, starting to look like framing. Is that top piece nailed in? This top piece nailed in? Not yet. Not yet? Well, wait a minute. Wait. Do it while you can get at it. Oh, yeah, you did nail it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay. It's a rush, but you guys are doing good. Okay. Don't forget your electrical hole goes right here. And there's another little board with an electrical hole that fits in here. So you'll see two short top two by sixes. And one of them has a hole in it. You got a hole in one of those things? Yeah. So this hole matches with this hole. Okay? And then, and then this guy goes over here. And that'll give you the offset to be able to bring the other wall in. <laughs> you guys are doing good. You don't need me. I'm just keeping you straight. Oh, don't worry about square. We can force it square later. At this stage, everything's still pliable. It's the guys with the plywood that got to make it square. You got too much wind over here. It's That's bending right. your nails. It's windy. It's, windy <laughs> it's windy over here. The nice thing about spiral nails is they turn around so you get another chance. You done good. I've noticed that since you started, you move your hand back out on your hammer. You're starting to get some power. Now, these guys are moving right along methodically. That's uh, running right through it there. Bring your spacer board up if you want. Okay, then that'll lock it in nice. You doing all right? Coming together, yeah, good. It's moving right along. here folks I know you don't have time to look at the neighbors but they're all moving about the same speed a lot of progress I'm impressed now let's see we got to make sure one little thing here these two blocks one of them has a hole it goes this way because there's a big top one that also has a hole for the electrical Is that right there so that one comes over on top and matches the up with the hole uh, you might want to move this up. okay now that's fine you're doing good.
chop that down. Okay. Put that up on the top. Whoops. Why does that not fit? What is not right here? Is that thing running over? Why is mine off that far here? It's maybe not the right piece. There we go. That works better. <laughs> oh, wow. These guys are about ready to go vertical. <laughs> I'm amazed. Everybody's almost the same place. Nobody's going to finish, but you're all going to get close. We've got three minutes left. Oh, the hammering's going faster and faster. <laughs> I'm looking. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's lined up? Okay. Lined up. Keep an eye on. Time, yeah, it's three minutes. Less than three. Two minutes left. You should take the camera down and watch these guys hammer. They're going like crazy. <laughs> oh, they just stopped. Okay. <laughs> Wow, and these two have improved 100% on their hammering since they started. <laughs> A 20 minute course in hammering is doing them really good. I'm impressed. Okay, you need to get your bottom window in there. Desperately, one and a half minutes. Your blocks for spacing, yeah. There's another block over there. Throw them down on the bottom. Throw them down on the bottom. Get your bottom piece in right. Right there. Oh, well, it looks like you got a lot of space there, huh? One minute left. So nobody's going to finish. Don't, uh, don't worry about square. We'll do square later. You're going to be close enough to square. If you can get a couple of brackets in, you're going to get ahead of the rest of them. Oh, this guy's up vertical. They're moving along on the top. And we're coming down to a photo finish here. You guys got to get a couple of those brackets in with the one and a half inch nails. Bruno? Where's Bruno? Is Bruno back there? I, I'm going to give an extension, I think, here. We're so close and they're moving along well. No? Okay, it's just we have to finish their sets. Okay. Good. I'm going to give you a little bit of an extension here. It's time's up, but keep going, keep going. We're going to give it, you're so close. We're going to give you a little extension because you're all coming along the same. So we're going to stretch this thing out just a little bit. Can, can you control the clock back there? Yeah, can you give me five minutes? You're getting so close. We're going to extend this five minutes, see if we can't get at least one of these things up and finished. He's trying to figure out how to put five minutes on the clock. You're going to have to put four minutes on the clock. Now you've got to change the time there. Oh, don't worry about square. Square's going to drive you crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
We don't seem to be able to reset our, our stopwatch. I'll arbitrarily say we got four minutes left. Okay, four minutes for right now. I'm watching the time. It's not working on the wall, but that's all right. Pardon? Don't do the hangers yet. You just want to put, get this guy in like this. Look at, bring this over. Bring the spacer in and the other spacer. Get this guy nailed in on the bottom and then you can do the same thing up on the top. Okay, that'll space it for you. You have to use your hammer maybe and get that in there. There you go. So you can get that one in. That'll move you along. Three and a half minutes. Okay, you got a couple of brackets in there, see if you can start doing your, you might want to flip the wall to put those uh, brackets in at 24 inches up, the backers. Might be easier, well, is that working for you that way? Okay, I it might be easier to actually flip the wall to put that in, but just don't nail it to the uh, hotel floor. You put Okay, well they got the clock going and it says five minutes, so we'll, we'll use the clock up. It's about three minutes ago. Yeah. We're about three minutes in. Did, did you figure out how to change this? You could give me three? Three? The technician has figured out how to change the clock, so it's going to go down to three and then we're going to be in business. There we are. Okay, now the clock is actually working. Turn it on and we're going. You have two minutes and 59 seconds left, and then it really is over. Doing good. Now you're doing it on to make sure that that's. You're nailing in from the top there. You're doing pretty good there. You got another piece to put on the top up here. That thing has to go over there. You see the hole there? It lines up with the other hole. You get out there. Good. Two minutes and 30 seconds. This is the final countdown. No more extensions. See how you're doing there. Okay, you guys are getting the brackets in, but you got to get the, yeah, go, get those supports in. Try not to nail it to the hotel floor. And we're getting really close here. Okay, we've got two minutes left, 154, 154. Uh, wait a minute, watch out for you, which side that's on. You need those blocks up on the top, yeah, okay. So it's not on the floor, there. it's coming up like his, at 24 inches from the floor. Okay, doing well there, moving along there. One minute and 30 seconds, 24 center, yes. Looking good, you got that in, you got, wow, you're moving right along, you're almost ready to stand up. You've got one minute, 13 seconds, you're gonna be able to get this thing up. You guys coming along also, you're almost ready to go up vertical. We've got a minute, six left. We got at least two of them ready to go up, three ready to go up. Looks like we're gonna have all four of them coming up. You got a minute left, guys, so let's uh, get this rock and rolling. Huh? They are good. You've got 45 seconds left. you got 45 seconds left. Oh, one of them's coming up. One of them's coming up. Oh, they're nailing the top piece, so they're not quite ready yet. So they're not ahead of you guys. We've got 30 seconds left. Oh, throw away your tape measure. We're just nailing here. You just, it's all pre-cut. Okay, you've got 20 seconds left. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Four. Three. 
two, stand it up, stand it up, one, stop, it's over, okay, stand up what you got, stand up what you got, everybody stand up, get them up, so the judges can see these things, watch out so they don't fall over there, because we didn't get the uh, side wall supporting them, they're going to stay up without falling over, good, fantastic, all of you guys and girls, and you stayed right up with the guys, you didn't look like it when you started, but you learned how to hammer as we got in. She's sweating. <laughs> She's got a sweat build up. You all got a sweat build up. That was great. You guys rocked. This, yes. <laughs> okay. Now hang in because the judges are going to go around and do their thing, and then we'll have a winner and some prizes for the winners. We got a little bit of finishing up to do on some of these things, so they're ready for the next piece. And then at about, what is it, 10.15, I think, is the schedule for the next one? What's our schedule on the next challenge back there? Is 10.15? 10.45 what? 10.45. At 10.45, we'll be doing the second challenge. Do you have all your teams? Almost? So see them in the back if you want to be part of the next challenge. So we get them signed up and get it all ready to go. There are prizes to be won. And even if you don't win the contest, you get hats, gloves, and goggles just by playing the game. So those are all for you. So hang in. We'll see what the judges have to say. We'll be back in just a couple minutes on this. You don't have a right to nail that until after the judges go by. <laughs> You leave it like that. You've got to admit that it's not quite fair. Then if you want to nail it on for me, I'd appreciate it because it'll be ready for the next job. Yeah, your, your inspector's coming by. So how do you feel about that? I, would, I definitely want a power nailer, though. You, you want a pneumatic nailer. Okay, well, you know, you can imagine if we had oh, five pneumatic nailers going here, we would have blasted our way. <laughs> probably shot somebody where we're at. I am impressed, ladies. You did a fantastic job. Of, uh, I, I saw you starting and I was worried and then you, you really got the swing of it and you, <laughs> you moved out. Did you notice what you did with the hammer? You started like this, yes. okay, holding it here, and then you moved out to here and it got a lot easier. It was harder to control it, but it went in better. Chicken arms, what's this? She said it, I didn't say that. I didn't say it, she said that, okay. <laughs> Is there a difference between a chicken arm and a rooster arm? No. Okay. No. <laughs> we'll let that go. <laughs> and you're doing great too. You're wailing away there. That was good learning experience. That was good. Now you can see the deliberation of the judges here. Yeah, you can see the deliberation of the judges really thinking about this. And you see our judges are well dressed for the job. And they are inspecting. <laughs> You're selling yourself to the judge. This is good. Marketing guy. This is the marketing guy. <laughs> we won't tell anybody if the whole wall is holding up by one nail. <laughs> Okay, now let's see back here. Do we have to, have you completed the whole thing? It's all in, the bracing's in, is your bracing nailed in? Yep. This one's not. Okay, can you do that for me? Bring it down 24 inch center. Is it, or is it nailed in? No, it's not. It's just, that it'll finish it for the next. If you bring this one, it, that one's already nailed, okay. So make sure that we've got a 24 inch line. Can you, and drop these nails down flat so the plywood will go on. You can just touch that up, I'd appreciate it, then the next, Contest is ready. Oh, they even put a strap on here. Watch out, that can kill somebody. They copied my set, okay. Okay.
Good. I'm just taking this off for the... Because we need to put this on in another contest. Hold it for me. That's good. Thank you. Okay, good. They were just got ahead of themselves. <laughs> and that one looks like it's all finished and well done. That guy's all ready. Um, need to get these guys back and put them to work. And the judges are down to the final straws here. Uh, We have a winner. Okay, come on up with me. It was tight. It was tight. Okay, was let me let me tight. unhook my microphone and get it over so we can share it. So what do we have? So with a score of 33 okay. out of... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Everybody, attention please. We have the winners to announce here as we're coming up. Okay. It was so close for everybody. Oh, I, I see 32, 30, 31, 31, and 33 yeah. is pointing. Wow. So with a 33 out of a possible score of 40, our winners are team number five. Over here. And who are who is team number five? Team number five, come on up here. Come on up. You were the guys that moved the smoothest, the slowest, and you got it all done the best. That was uh, interesting, as I watched you, because some of them were moving faster, but you didn't do anything twice, huh? Nope, neatness. Uh, neatness is what counts. You didn't give me your name here. As, uh, Travis. I've been over the microphone here. Travis Mwange, Ming Where, Lake. Okay. Ron Mishimidi, Sogi. Okay, we got some drills for you here. Thank you very much, congratulations. Good job, good job. 10.45, we get into the second challenge, which is going to, we have to finish these up for the little things that are finished, but then we will be putting the sheathing on the outside and doing some moisture proofing on the whole thing. So it's gonna be almost as crazy as this one, and a little messier, because we'll get into caulking. So if you're not signed up, I think there's still a place or two left for the second challenge this morning. You wanna check in uh, anybody in these blue shirts, and they can uh, sign you up for that. We'll see you at uh, 10.45, and oh, before I go, I do, I forgot, I have to do some commercial announcements here for the whole, uh, you know, you've, you've got the whole demonstration going on here. But what's interesting is that almost every booth has a contest of something with things to win. So let me read off a couple of these. We have a charrette jacket, a fleece jacket, and aid kit prizes that are, uh, await the winners of the Public, Serv health Serv no, Public Services Health and Safety Association, right down in the aisle over there. Uh, if you guess correctly the number of earplugs in a jar, you can test your knowledge at the Global Hydration Water Treatment System booth, guessing the VOT of the water from the local river to win great prizes on the back wall over here. The Olympics Builder challenges you to a Wii fishing competition. So go over and play with the Wii because the best fisher takes home a Wii system. So you can win a Wii system. So it's worth stopping by and playing that. And second place even has a cooler. And last for the moment is visit Northern Superior Homes, learn about their First Nation Community Home Program, fill in a survey for a chance to win a full pellet stove. Okay, great prizes all around. The guys at Toolwood are gonna to be demonstrating the- uh, In about the five minutes or so? They want, we're gonna do it at about 10.30, they say. Okay, so about 10.30, the guy at Toolwood's out in the hallway there with all the tools is gonna to demonstrate once again his, his safety saw, they call it sausage saw, the saw that stops if you run your finger into the blade. So he's gonna show you how it stops. And this is worth seeing because it costs him about a hundred bucks every time he does this because they destroy the blade and destroy the guard. Uh, but it means you walk away with your finger intact. So uh, 10.30 at uh, the woods booth in the, the Tool Woods, that's worth seeing that thing, it's amazing. Okay, we'll see you at 10.45 back here. <laughs>